Hi, good afternoon from five students. Nice to meet you all again. Huh? But this time I talk to myself only. Huh? I don't uh, communicate with you all. Huh? Okay, for tonight's lesson, huh, I would like to discuss some um, paper two question, essay question on chapter two, electricity. Huh? Okay. The question paper I will share with you all later on. Uh, okay. So it's chapter two, electricity, paper two, essay question. Okay. Let's look at here. Uh, I will share with you all some, some of the questions now. Can you see the question? Now, right, if you look at question number one, this is chapter two, you have to sit chapter one, long question, the same question, right, this question, diagram A, this diagram, show a hair dryer, this is a hair dryer, connected to a power supply, 240 volt, 500 watt. Connected to three pin plug. Uh, this is a plug. Uh, uh, this is a good idea. Uh. Okay, then I can show the fuse of three pin plug. This is a fuse. You know what is a fuse, right? The fuse is uh, located somewhere here inside the plug for protection uh, to cut off the excess current. Okay, so the question is like this. Uh. Okay, now. Look at the first part of the question. Uh, the first question Take two properties of materials of fitting element. You know that inside this K dryer must have a fitting element, right? <coughs> this uh, fitting element uh, heat up the air. So when the fan uh, blow the hot air come out, so it produces a uh, hot air for to dry the hair. Uh, huh? Okay, so now the question now state two properties of the material. Okay, what are the criteria for the material for this fitting element? And then you need to explain your answer. Okay, so how do you think, class? What are the criteria for the fitting element? Okay, huh? okay, let's look at the answer. I go faster. You know, okay. The answer are you okay? First, uh, it must be high melting point. Okay. High melting point, not easy to melt because I need to become very hot. So it must have high melting point first, right? Another one is you can withstand the high temperature. This is the reason now. Huh? Why must have high melting point? Because can withstand high temperature or heat or does not melt easily, not easy to oxidize. Okay, then it's getting hot to become oxidized you now. Okay, and another criteria must be can last longer. Lah. It can last longer. So the answer here is high melting point. The reason is can withstand high temperature, heat, and so on. Lah. Okay, right. Next question B. Oh, no. Read the question first. What is the meaning of labor 0.5 and here of the fuse? Now, uh, what is the meaning of labor 0.5 and build on the fuse? This is a labor on the fuse, you know. Okay, if the fuse labor in such a way, what is the meaning? Uh, class. Okay, the meaning is what? Okay, come let's see. Uh. This means uh, the maximum current can flow through the fuse is 0.5 and build. Okay. If the fuse is 0 0.5 means uh, the maximum current can flow through uh, is 0 0.5 ampere. If uh, higher than 0 0.5, so what happens now? Uh, uh, if higher than 0 0.5 ampere current flow in, right? So the fuse will become hot, then it will melt. Once the fuse melted, so you cut off the current now. Understand or not? So if labor 0 0.5 ampere means uh, 
you can only withstand the highest current of 0 0.5 ampere only. Not higher than 0 0.5 ampere. Understand that? Huh? Alright. Okay. Next part of the question. Uh, this is a long question now. Huh? This one is 10 marks, you know, we need to write a lot here. Okay, table shows the specifications of few metals to be used at fuse wire, okay? W, X, Y, Z. These are the metal for making the fuse wire, okay? So the first one is a melting point. Second one is a specific heat capacity. Third one is the diameter of the wire, okay? And the fifth one is a Top one is resistivity. Resistivity carry the meaning of resistance, ma, the resistance. Okay. What to do this matter with the fuse? Uh, okay. Okay, the meaning is like this. Uh. This is a fuse, right? Inside here, uh, okay, there's a wire. Fuse wire is inside here. Okay, you see the pointer? There's a fuse wire here, uh. When the current flow through here now, the wire will become hot. When the current too big now, so the wire becomes too hot, so it will melt. Understand or not? The side they ask you to choose now, what type of wire supposed to be put inside the fuse here. Understand the question now? Okay, yeah. right now. Read the question for okay. the Explain the suitability of its characteristics of four, okay, one, two, three, four, uh, and determine the most suitable method to be used as a fuse wire. Keep the reason. Okay, how to answer this kind of question? How to answer? Okay, to get the 10 marks, uh, you must have five suggestion. okay? Suggestion referring to the melting point, what is your suggestion regarding specific capacity? What is your suggestion and so on? Huh? Okay, besides giving suggestion, you also must give the reason. Okay, basically, you can answer in a paper form. If you don't want, you can write in a sentence. Huh? Sentence, you keep the suggestion and then state the reason. Okay, first, I will start with the first one melting point. Okay, the fuel. Melting point, you already know, right? Okay, the answer is what? What is the suggestion for melting point? Okay, you see here? Low melting point. The melting point must be low. Remember that, right? Easy to melt. The fuel must melt, understand? Then only can cut off the current, okay? So, must be low melting point. The reason is, the melt is easy. Understand, that? Right? Okay, the second, uh, criteria specific capacity how do you think okay specific heat capacity is something to do with this thing the wire get hot faster or slower right okay usually you see that you want the fuse wire to get hot and then to melt so you must choose a fuse uh, which can get hot faster one so get on faster means that uh, specific capacity must be small or big. Do you remember or not? Uh, specific capacity big or small? Okay, uh, right, let's see the answer. Okay, here. Low specific capacity. Uh, the specific capacity value must be small. Okay, small. Uh, the reason is can hit up faster. Hit up easily. Uh, can heat up easily. Uh, low specific capacity can heat up, heat up easily. Uh, okay. Understand uh, so far? I think no problem. Uh. Okay. Next. Next is on diameter. Okay. Diameter of the wire must be thick, small. Okay. How do you think? The fuse wire must be very thin or very thick. Remember, you know. It must become hot very fast. When you want it to become hot very fast, means uh, the resistance must be high. High resistance means uh, the wire must be small or big. Okay, you already know the answer. Uh, okay, now check the answer. Small, okay, small diameter. The reason is high resistance. Okay, 
small small diameter now so the wire has high resistance so easy to melt not easy to break like right? easy to melt okay and then cut off the current okay already six mark okay the fourth one now uh, is on resistivity okay resistivity is a measure of uh, resistance now okay high low which one you choose now uh? So if I answer the risk, it must be high resistance or high resistance, okay? Choose a high resistivity because uh, resistivity high is also mean the resistance is high, okay? okay? High resistivity means high resistance. Can produce more heat. Produce more heat means uh, easy to melt. So then cut off the current, right? Okay, we have give four reasons, four uh, suggestions and four reasons here already, right? So the last part of the question now, uh, demand you to state which one is uh, most suitable. Okay, see which one is the most suitable one? Okay, most suitable one must be low melting point, uh, low melting point, low specific capacity, small diameter, and high resistivity. Uh. Okay, so the answer is WXYZ for which one? Yes, answer is Z. Okay, Z. Now then stick again the reason now. Okay, this is mark number nine. Need the last last mark is here. So you choose Z because it has low melting point, low specific capacity, small diameter, and high resistivity. Okay, by writing all this point, you get too much too much now. Huh? Okay, understand? All right, let's continue. Let's finish it now. This question. And now, last part of course is the calculation. The two brick the question. The K dryer in the diagram is switch on or we switch on. Then calculate the current. You are asked to find the current. Second, state whether 0 0.5 and the fuel suitable or not. Okay. And the third one, calculate the energy used by the hay dryer when it is switched on for 10 minutes. Okay, I remember the question now. Uh, the hay dryer is here. Okay, power 500 watt, voltage 240. Okay, and the question first one is calculate the current. Second one, state whether 0 0.5 ampere fuels are uh, suitable to use or not. And the last one, Find the energy when it turns it on for 10 minutes. Huh? Okay, now the answer is yeah. all right. First, to find the current, okay, use a formula power VP equal to VI. Okay, power equal to VI. So to find the I, power divided by voltage, power 500, voltage 240. Okay. P equal to V I. Okay, have this formula now. Uh, Part here, you know. Okay, sorry. Okay. Power divided by voltage. So get answer two point zero eight ampere. Okay, now the current is only two point zero eight ampere. You know, but the fuse is zero point five. So, so the answer is not suitable. Why not suitable? Because uh, the, the current flowing is 2.08, but the fuse is 5 and here is too big and here, you know. And sometimes uh, the current can reach 3 and here, 4 and here, but the fumes are still not melt yet and not really not good. Okay, because this head dryer only will have current 2.08. So it means slightly higher than 2.08, for example, like 3 ampere, right? it should be cut off the reading, you know. Okay, so we cannot add, sorry. I made a mistake, sorry. Huh? The fuse is 0 0.5, okay. Now the current 2.0 is too high already. Too high means that uh, every time when you on the air dryer, the fuse cut off the current. So cannot, not suitable to use. Huh? The fuel size is too small uh, because the current here is 2.08 ampere. So the most suitable fuel to be used here uh, is 3 ampere. Okay? 
three and then not zero point five and two, three and two, okay? Huh? So it's not suitable. Okay, the last one you find the energy, right? Energy formula is V I P uh, P T uh, huh? Energy equal to P T power multiplied by time. P T power multiply time. Power five hundred. Find ten the next change to second to so get three hundred thousand joule, understand? Energy equal to P T power multiply time. Uh, this is the formula, alright? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, so far we take a break now, huh? Okay. Okay, huh? Welcome back. Okay, let's uh continue. Okay, now you look at this. Now question number two. Okay. Let's look at the question. Diagram shows a typical circuit on a household electrical appliance that using a fuse. Fuse again, you know. So the fuse is here. This is wire. Okay. And this is off wire. So meaning that the current coming from here go in, then come out. Understand? Yeah, the fuse is on here, huh? Okay, so now first question, what is fuse? What is fuse? Uh, actually, fuse is what? Class? The second question, explain the advantages of parallel circuit in the house wiring system. Okay, now you look at these two first, huh? What is fuse? And then, the second one is, explain the advantages of parallel circuit in our house. Okay? You know that uh, wiring system are we have two. One is series, the other one is parallel, right? So now in our house uh, is parallel one, you know. Ask you why? Okay, four marks, uh, okay? Then okay, let's look at the answer for this now. Uh, why? What is a fuse? Fuse is what? Right now, fuse is a very thin wire, okay? Fuse is a very thin wire which either melt melt now, no, not seldom vaporize, uh, which either melt when too much current flow through it, okay? The purpose of melt, right, because is to cut off the current, uh, when the current is too thick, uh. Okay, the second one is, the one features of parallel circuit, so now you have to so many here, uh. Okay, the first one is, a parallel circuit can run several devices using full voltage of power supply. You know why? Because uh, when you connect it in parallel, right, all the components uh, will receive the same voltage from the battery. Okay, full voltage uh, is right, uh, first one. Okay, the second one is if one device fails or spoil, the others will continue running normally. Uh, this is a one fix of parallel circuit because each circuit now uh, in parallel line right, they can be controlled separately because there are separate switches to control. Okay. So the second answer is one device fail or spoil, other will continue to run normally. Okay. But if the device short, okay, the other devices will receive no voltage preventing overload damage. Understand or not? If the device is short now, the other devices will receive no voltage. Within now, one of the device spoils already now, right? The other devices will receive no voltage preventing overload damage. It will overload now. Okay? Okay, the next one. A failure of one component does not lead to the failure of other components. It means uh, if one of a component spoil, right? The other component uh, still can use as normal. Uh, okay. Okay, the next one is 
more components may be added in parallel without the need for more voltage. No need because uh, because everyone will receive the same voltage. Okay. So the more component may be added in the parallel without need for more voltage, you need to add more voltage. Huh? Then the last one is each electrical appliances in the circuit has its own switch means uh, can be turned on off individually. Huh? So these are the one piece of parallel circuit. Okay, the third answer do you understand a lot? Third answer is mean uh, if you want to want short short means a short circuit open here or not short circuit so the other device will will not receive any voltage one okay preventing overload so meaning that uh circuit in parallel means uh could have a problem of short circuit we need to worry so much okay okay uh, for all this answer now uh, okay next one see 10 marks question uh, maybe this is uh, why not? Click the question. Okay. An immersion heater specification 240 watt, 500 watt, used to boil water. The heater now uh, submerged in the water to boil water. Why not? Okay. The efficiency of the immersion heater is 55% efficiency. Uh. So what is the meaning of this 240 watt? Find out what this is a favorite question in SDM. Huh? What it means by this? Okay. What is the meaning of 240 watt? Find out what? Okay. Let's look at this one first. Huh? So this. The electrical appliances uses 240 watt of voltage to generate 500 watt of power. This answer. Huh? I mean now uh, the electrical appliances uh, need 240 watt to produce 500 watt of power. Okay, so to get 500 watt of power, right, you must supply with 240 watt. That is a meaning. Uh. Okay, another meaning is uh, you can, another answer you can write like this. Uh, you write it down. I uh, say you write. This means uh, 500 joule of energy is produced every second okay 500 joule of energy is produced in one second when the voltage supply is 200 from what i repeat now 500 joule of energy is produced in one second when the voltage supply is 200 from what got it or not that answer is now huh? okay the second question Second part of calculation now. Uh, calculate the electric current. Okay, find the current. Okay, very easy now. Uh. When you have voltage power to find current, so you can use formula P equal to V I. Okay. Okay. Current equal to power divided by voltage now. Uh, P equal to V I now. Uh. When you want to find current, you take power divided by voltage now. Uh, P equal to V I. So power divided by voltage, you get this answer. Okay. 2.08 okay this is a current right but calculate the output power okay the output power now efficiency must be considered already not 85 percent only okay what is the formula of uh, efficiency now okay okay i say how you listen now efficiency formula is uh, output power to what of input power time hundred percent I repeat, efficiency is output power EO divided by input power EI times 100%. Okay, right, you can use this that formula to answer. Like you see, huh? yeah, no, the formula is here. Output power divided by input power times 100%. Okay, now. Okay, the output power is 55% of 500 watts. Actually, no need to use any formula to count, just do common sense only now. The output power should be 85% out of 500 watts, correct not? Right? 55% of 500 watts. 
so the answer is 425 watt okay understand now huh? okay let's spend much question okay now a very long question huh? read the question few sticks some fine to melt or blow a fast blowing fuse is required to protect semiconductor equipment which cannot stand high current search for too long okay when a fuse blows sparking may occur and produces high temperature and this is very dangerous the fuse wire is placed in the shell or cartridge cartridge huh? as shown in the diagram below to prevent it spark from causing damage there's no diagram here huh? okay i show the previous one is like this huh? not here the con this the fuse is inside a container huh? this container is called a cartridge okay cartridge okay few wires inside so this cartridge is very important huh? okay Okay, now the question. Paper below show the specifications of five fuses that can be used to protect semiconductor. Okay, there are five. P, Q, R, S, G. Okay, the few aspect that we will look into are thickness of the few wire, the cartridge type the reading the ampere and current and the melting point i think roughly you all know already huh? thickness must be thin just now right question one thin cartridge okay cartridge uh, you choose rubber uh, glass uh, ceramic uh, plastic uh, which one which one is the best okay choose something can uh, withstand high temperature okay the best choice i think is ceramic Ceramic uh, is something like this, uh, porcelain, you know. Okay, the pot for planting flower one. The one can be same high temperature, okay? Ceramic. Okay, rating, read. You must calculate the current first one, okay? The current. The current will be below, which one, no? Okay, mounting point must be low, low mounting point, right now. Uh, this one, this one, you do this. This one, um, what is the current there? Current not showing here. Okay, now my lab, you see. Okay, now, oh, okay. Oh, no, no. From here, you can find the current, sorry. Determine the most suitable field to protect you. Okay, you calculate the current from here. Uh, power, voltage, P go to E, I. Find the current first. Then only you can decide which one feels is suitable. Okay. Thickness, uh, okay. Blah, 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 all this and that. Uh, okay. Come. Let's look at it. Uh, I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. Okay. The first one, the wire must be thin. Okay. Thin feels wire. Reason is less space meter. The cartridge must be very small. Small as possible. Okay and to carry a limited electrical current must be very thin now huh? high resistance uh, huh? less mass can how low heat capacity low heat capacity and uh, shorter time to heat up to melt to boiling point and melt okay so the reason of choosing thin fuse wire is uh, higher resistance very fast you can hot then shorter time to heat up to melting point and then to cut off the counter and blow okay huh? okay now move over here the second one is we chose ceramic cartridge ceramic huh? okay the reason is can be stand higher temperature because spark created by high voltage can be heat okay you must have something can withstand the high temperature okay we went from uh, fire from big up, okay? Right, third one is fuse 13. Uh, you calculate uh, just now, you calculate what is the current? Uh, let me take a calculator first. Uh. 
power 2400 divided by voltage 240. Okay, the current is 10 ampere. Okay, 10 ampere. Huh? Right, when the current is 10, huh, you cannot choose 10 ampere to sign, you know, exactly one cannot. Okay, 2 10 zero. Why? Why exactly one cannot? When the current is 10, why cannot choose 10? The reason is huh? every time you on the thing, it blow. On, you cut off. You cannot use, right? So the fuels are must be slightly higher than 10. So the test here is 13 now. Okay, choose 13. Okay, see the answer. 13 now. The reason is maximum rating must be slightly higher than the normal current. Okay. The normal current will calculate which is 10 and right? So choose 13 now. Huh? Okay, the last one is low melting point now. The reason is fast blow fast melted okay melting fast then excessive current flow easy to cut off the current uh, low melting point easy to melt and cut off the current okay last your make your choice and then keep the reason again okay so the best choice is r okay r is chosen because you have to write all this again uh. it has thin fuse wire which is ceramic cartridge, and then the rating is 13 ampere, and then the melting point is low. Okay. All these answers you can see, but you got too much and much to do. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good, huh? Okay, so this one done already. <coughs> okay, let's look at question number three now. Also, electric, uh, the whole chapter here is regarding electric one. The format of this question is more or less like this one. Uh, okay, diagram show the arrangement of watt meter to the watt meter. Uh, M meter is here, and the battery, battery is here. Sorry. Okay, switch is a switch, and three power one, two, three. Now, this one connected in series. Uh, okay, and now the question. Name the physics, physics, physics quantity measure the watt meter. Watt meter measure what? Potential become voltage, isn't it? Okay, the answer is measuring potential become a voltage. Lah. Okay, ah, that's easy. Next. Okay, draw a circuit diagram represent the arrangement. You need to draw diagrams, you know. Okay, now this diagram you draw. Lah. Okay. The three pulse series, one dry cell, watt meter across it, and meter in series, and there's a switch. Okay, so your answer should look something like this. Huh? Okay, now you see the pulse one, two, three in series. This is a dry cell, watt meter, and watt meter must connect a parallel. Huh? This is a switch, and meter is here. Okay. Everything correct formats are huh? okay. Next question. Now all the pulse are then arranged in parallel. Huh? Now just now series. Now put it parallel by using a symbol. Draw the possible arrangement. Okay. Now uh, I think same now, but I didn't have the answer here. Huh? I just tell you only. Huh? Okay, the answer will be these three pulse, right? You put them one here, one here, one here in parallel. Lah. The rest all same. Okay. Put it the pulse arrange them in parallel. One, two, three. Okay. So same on grammar. Huh? Alright. So next. Now, here they ask you to choose something, right? Table shows four heating elements. Heating elements are used to heat up things uh, in the kettle or uh, uh, in the filament, uh, right? F, G, H, J with different specification. Three identical heating panels are needed to be fixed on three sides of the electrical dryer, okay? You need three, you know, yeah? Okay, so the aspect given is uh, the diameter, diameter of the wire, types of heating panel, type, 
arrangement of heating panel how you arrange them uh, and melting point okay you see now uh, first one is like that one so straight the types of heating panel is straight wire like that okay straight wire arrangement arrange them in parallel you say in parallel you know okay next uh, like that coin wire coin wire arrange in parallel also H strict wire but thinner one now right? arrange them in series huh? I think this one is the melting point last one melting point okay and the last one like a spring or coin wire okay now you have to think properly you know, which one is the most suitable <coughs> You are required to determine the most suitable heating element that can produce highest amount of heat. Okay, can produce more heat means uh, must be resistant very high, and then must be heat up very very fast one. Okay, and when it is get hot uh, means uh, the melting point must be very high, you know, so that it will melt because this uh, heat Heating element uh, just to use it to heat up things in it, so you shouldn't make one more. You know, okay? okay, now so out of this four now, uh, diameter types of heating panel, arrangement of x ray heating panel, melting point. Okay, so you can answer in point form or answer in paper. Uh, okay, let's check the answer now. Very simple. So, what diameter thin? In diameter, reason to do high resistance. Why need high resistance? Because resistance high, you can produce more heat. Correct not? Yeah. Use a coil wire, coil one. Okay. Not a straight wire. It's coil. Can increase the resistance. Okay. Can anyone explain now? Uh, why using coil wire to increase the resistance? Okay. Coil wire, you coil it up, right? So actually, yeah, uh, you make the wire longer, very long. When the wire is long, means uh, the resistance is high. Understand? Uh? That's why you coil it up. Coil up means that uh, the wire is long. Okay? When the wire is long, the resistance becomes high. Uh, that's the reason. Uh. The third, the ring stem in parallel. Parallel, you know. Okay? The reason is, if one panel not function, right? The other panels still can function. Like this is an advantage of parallel. You have three, right? So three, you put them in parallel. You one spoil and another two still can use. Understand? And the third one, the melting point must be high low because you get hot heat things and boil water, right? Heat cook chicken, right? So the melting point must be high. Then you say high temperature. The last, you take your choice, keep your reason. The best is G because thin diameter, coil wire, parallel arrangement, high melting point. Understand? So, like this, everything, then mark. Okay, okay, I think it should be okay. Then, huh? The last part, calculation. Huh? You know, huh? every time you have this one, last part is calculation. Huh? Okay. Can you read the question? Diagram shows an electric bulb 40 watt, 240 watt. Nah, this is a bulb, this is a filament. Okay? Filament is a heating element actually. Take the energy transformation. Okay, what energy changes to what energy here? And then you calculate. Calculate so many things. Now. Calculate current. Calculate the unit energy for 8 hours in 20 days. Nah. Can you remember the question? Nah? Okay, first energy transformation first. Huh? So it's electrical energy to light energy. Okay. Actually, uh, this answer is not so complete. You know? It should be electrical energy to light energy and also heat energy. Heat is so called light because the filament of the power get hot, right? Not? Okay. Huh? The second one, the calculation 
calculate the current now. So we have power, we have voltage supply current in TR. T equal to VI with this formula. Power 40, voltage 240, current by the I. Lah. So you get 0 0.167 ampere. Okay. 0 0.167 ampere is the answer. Okay. And the last one is you also supply what are we do? Uh, find energy, right now. Uh, energy consumed in eight hours in 20 days, right? The uh, formula is V I T. Voltage. Why the answer is like that? T T O power multiply time okay energy equal to P T power multiply time power is forty time eight hours then twenty days so we leave the answer in what hour okay this is what this one. Not hour right time 20 days. So the answer is 6400 watt hour. Or you change the kilo 6.4 kilo watt hour. Okay, huh? okay we take a break here. Okay, come, we look at the last question, uh, question number four. Okay, yeah, uh, come, look at here. Question number four, okay, yeah, uh, this one, this is a question, question number four. Okay, diagram below shows a boy trying to fix a light saving bulb, okay, trying to fix the bulb here, okay. The power rating specification of the power is written 240 watt, 40 watt. Then normal power, huh? Okay. Same question again. What is the meaning of 240 watt, 40 watt? The meaning you should know already, huh? Okay, quickly check the answer. No. 240 watt, 40 watt means that electric kettle, white kettle, blah. Consume 40, okay, don't, don't look at the electric kettle like to say. We consume 440 joule of energy every second if connected to 240 watt. Actually, the answer is correct. Huh? Just cancel the electric kettle. Okay, no need. Means that the bulb will consume 40 joule of energy every one second. If it is connected to 240 volt. Understand? Uh? Cancel electric kettle. Uh? Okay, next. Now. Using the meaning of voltage, what happened when the power connected to 120 watt, connected to 400, 200, 450 watt? Now you see. Uh? Okay, the bulb now is labeled as 240 volt, 240 volt in here, no? okay? So now, what happened when connected to 120 too low, okay? Second one is, what happened when connected to 450, which is too high, so what happened, okay? And then you need to explain your answer, okay? Can you take your question, uh, high order thinking skill, okay? When the voltage is too low, normal is 240, right? When 120, 120 is too low, what happened? When too high, 450, what happened? Okay, let's check the answer, okay? Now, first, 120 watt, huh? the bulb will dimmer. You see, it will work like dimmer because only 120 joule of energy. 
120 joule energy produced in one second. Okay, this some column of charge transfer. I'm not sure it's not correct. The bulb will become dimmer because only 100 joule of energy consumed in every one second. So less energy consumed, uh, so the filament is not hot now. Uh, okay, so the light produces a uh, dimmer. Okay, the second one. The bulb will explode because uh, the water is too high, too hot already. Okay, because 450 joule of energy to every coulomb of charge it pushes out. This means uh, the bulb will explode because uh, 450 joule of energy is produced every one second. You know, the mean uh, the filament becomes too hot. When too hot now, uh, the pressure inside the bulb becomes too high. This pressure inside the bulb becomes too high. This side will explode. Understand? Okay, huh? So remember now, uh, 450 joule energy produced in one second will become very hot. You know? Hot then the pressure inside the bulb is too high. So it will explode. Okay? Alright. Next. Ah, this thing will okay. Diagram below show the structure filament used for purpose of fitting the incubator or tray. Incubator now to catch the egg, uh, chicken egg. Uh, okay, to heat the egg so that the egg can catch. Okay, uh. you are asked to investigate the characteristics of four filament bulb W X Y Z. Explain the suitability of each characteristics of the bulb and determine the length. This can serve as high power operation for heating purpose to heat up the heat sun. Eh? Keep reason for your choice, okay? So remember, we are using the power to heat up the heat sun eh? into paper. The amount material, types of gas, and then the pressure inside. And the bulb envelope, the envelope, okay, the con the bulb, the envelope, the the glass one, huh? okay. So which one you are going to choose? Filament, copper, carbon, tungsten, nitrogen, gas, nitrogen, hydrogen, neon, helium. So which one? Pressure high, low. Uh, the envelope of the bulb made from glass. Half glass, half one more. Okay. So which one? All right. Check the answer. Okay. The filament material is just tungsten. Okay. Remember or not? For filament bulb, uh, we choose tungsten, not micro no. The reason of tungsten is uh, because uh, we have highs withstand high temperature, high melting point is one. And then it's also high resistance now. High resistance and then can withstand high temperature. And also now another reason we choose tungsten is because of tungsten can release or admit a lot of light. Very good in emitting light. Okay, tungsten now. Good in anything like okay, tungsten, which is tungsten. And then the gas inside is neon. Okay, neon because uh, it can glow brighter, can glow when electric discharge takes place, can glow in the arc pain. Okay, the reason uh, we choose neon gas uh, because neon gas can glow, glow bright. That's the reason. Uh. And the pressure must be low. Inside pressure must be low, it's not high that it will explode, right? So that not easily damage the bulb, not easy to you won't uh, explode easily. Lah. Okay, huh? The envelope choose high, half glass, half, not easy to break. Lah. Can withstand high temperature, not easy to break, not that fragile. Understand? And the last one is we choose why? Because it is tungsten, neon, low gas pressure, and Envelope with half glass. Okay, huh? Okay, last part is the calculation. Okay. We're given a diagram like this six volt, three resistor, 
2 ohm, 4 ohm, 6 ohm mic, V1, V2, V3, okay, this is a current, so now the question, find the voltage of each one, voltage here, voltage here, voltage here, okay, and find the electric energy dissipated in the system 2, okay, so we need find voltage here, voltage here, and here, and the last one, find the energy dissipated mean energy release release here uh -huh. okay so first uh, you must find the find the current first you're gonna have many now then you find current now find the voltage okay let's see the answer effective resistance they total up to the resistance now the two resistance in series total up right Two, four, six, or twelve. Okay. And then current, find the current first. Current is I equal to V over R, six volt divided by twelve ohm, so zero point five ampere. Okay, this zero point five ampere is like, the current to come out here. Like. So this zero point five ampere current will go through here, go through here, and also go through here, right? We need a current zero point five. Go to here, all same now. Here, current 0 0.5. Here, also 0 0.5. Here, also 0 0.5. So, you have current, you have resistance, you can find voltage. You have current, resistance, find voltage. That's it. Okay, but I think very easy. Huh? So, you check the answer now. Huh? So, once you know the current already, so the first voltage, you go to I, R. I, R. I, 0 0.5. R, 2, so it's 1 volt. So the second one, current I 0 0.5, I is 4, so it's 2 volt, and so on and so on. Okay, the last one, energy dissipated. So energy is I square R T, 1 second. Uh, I square R, I 0 0.5 square. Resistance is 4, T, 1 second, let me put that. Uh, then we get the answer, 1 joule per second, 1 joule. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have finished discuss uh, all these four questions already. Yeah. Okay, so we have finished discuss all the four questions in uh, this uh, chapter two. Electricity, uh, all the four essay questions. Uh, okay. I hope you can understand now. Uh, okay. I will share with you the question. So please uh, download and print up the question and then write all the answer on two step paper. Understand? Answer all the question on two using two step paper uh, because this is essay question, right? There, yeah. so please uh, work hard now. Uh, remember that now. Uh. Okay, take good care, everyone. I'll see you again. Okay, bye bye.